Welcome everyone. This is Andy 79Z28, sometimes known as the Zinc Master. We have an unboxing today. This is from CW. Good old Brian. I opened the box, but I didn't really take. I just got rid of the packing material and stuff. I know what is supposed to be in here. Well, let's take a look. Okay. Okay. These are. Uh, some uh, Type 3 wad cutters in lead. And, he, wow, Brian, you sent me way too many, but thank you. Uh, I'm going to compare these to what my zinc ones are, which we'll bring out. And I do believe this is a bag of zinc wheel weights. So let's open this up. And it looks like, I like, he shrink wrapped them. Yep, there's a bunch of zinc wheel weights here. I don't know, 10 pounds, maybe, I don't know. Let's see what does it say for the weight of the box was. Uh, nine pounds, 10, so it's about eight and a half, eight pounds of zinc. Thank you, Brian. You know that's going to go to good use. Get this out of the way. Now, uh, I bought a mold, a Type 3 mold. I'm bad with the numbers, so guys, bear with me. Uh, let me get my tweezers so I can hold this a little better. Uh, where are my tweezers? There they are. Too many things going on here, down here in my little playroom. Okay, this is ink bullet I bought. Uh, 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 a old Lyman mold, and see if we can get this thing to focus. <clears throat> Here we go. And this comes in. I'm pretty sure this is. A, they make this mold supposedly in a 150 and a 160. But I'm finding people saying it's like 148 and 158. Uh, Grains in zinc. It's 95 grains. I've read a few of them. 95 between 95.3 and 95.7. So, and the reason why I'm playing with that is because uh, I bought a new rifle, which I haven't made a video of it yet. It's a lever action Rossi, 92, uh, 357, and a 20 inch barrel stainless steel. And 38 wad cutters will not chain, chamber in this. 148 grain semi wad cutter chamber is no problem. So I was chasing down a wad cutter. I got a great deal on this mold. Uh, after I just used it, okay, for the first time, the mold looks brand spanking new. Other than the fact the screws to hold to the handle were cap screws. So uh, those aren't original. But the mold doesn't even look like it was ever casted. It had the same, you know, the gel on it, you know, preservative oil, whatever they use. Okay, the cavities were perfectly clean. There was not a scratch. There was not a ding on the sprue plate. So anyway, I, on Sunday, was it Sunday? Yes, uh, Saturday, Sunday, I believe it was. I would cast it up, about 150 of them. They're over here in this. This dish, I didn't size them yet. I only sized a few to uh, see how it chambered. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is, per se, the 160 grain version. I don't know. So CW said he has that mold, okay. And that's what these bulls, so I'm going to open this up. And he said he cast me. I said, I only need, you know, I don't need a lot. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not really a lead shooter. I said, you know, a dozen or so just to play with. And... The difference between his and mine, let's see if we can show this. Mine, whoops, mine is a button nose and his is a flat point. Okay, so his is totally flat on the top. So, let's see what his weighs. 157.7, so his is 158 grain. Uh, okay, so overall length of the zinc I'm getting 
three, uh, uh, point six three five. And now his aren't size or anything. He sent me a matter of the mold. Wow, how can that be so much bigger? Something's not right. You're standing next to each other. Mine's taller, so his is... Okay, 0.598. So his bullet is shorter than my overall length, but mine's got a button nose on it. Okay, so that's the main difference. Yeah, 0.6345. So let's say 6.35. His weighs 157.8. So... It's a hundred, his is 158 grain mold, so I have to say this is the same thing in lead because if you do the calculation, it, that's what it works out to, like 94 grains or so. All right, interesting. So I'm going to uh, load some of his up. Interesting bullet. It's totally flat on both ends. Uh, kind of just, yeah, okay. So... Mine, mine has a top crimp groove just like his in the same locations. My, my uh, lube groove area, my, or the, the, the lube groove is a little bigger than his and the rest of the bullet is a little smaller. Okay, so they're very similar bullets but they're de definitely different. So I will have to load mine up. Uh, I've already set my, my system up for mine. His I have to size and powder coat. And uh, I got you know, I don't know when I'm going to have the time to shoot this. The winter's, the cold weather's here, and I'm not a cold weather shooter. So anyway, it was just a quick unboxing from Brian CW. I appreciate it very much. And uh, we'll go from here. Everybody have a great day. Trying to keep it short. Andy, 79Z28, signing out, the Doctor of Zinc.